What's well, so up? It's your girl, Young Miami. You're checking out Animal Status. Um, Animal Status, what's up? I'm DJ Wonder. What up? It's DB. DB, why don't you introduce our guest? Oh, we have the lovely Miami representer, City Girls representer. She was in Drake's video, popped up all over the place. She was in the twerk video, twerking, tiger style, stripes, <laughs> looking lovely on a boat full of lovely women. So we have to introduce her properly. Young Miami. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? First, <laughs> first um, female have have ever entered these uh, grimy walls. Oh, that's right, that's right. We have nothing but dudes. Yeah, now we have finally have a woman. Oh, how, okay. How so the, the air the air has changed. <laughs> we have to be on our best behavior right I now. I like this much better. No more guys. Remember, no, yeah. we're not booking any more guys. Exactly. Uh, what? How I first uh, heard of, heard of you or the group City Girls was uh, I'll take your man, the, the Salt and Pepper. Um, mm-hmm. How did that come about? Like, is that something that you guys heard growing up, or did somebody bring it to your attention? No, Coach K, he had came to me and JT. We was in the studio, and he was like, I want y'all to do this record. Uh, I want y'all to remake it. It's called I'll Take Your Man by Sight and Pepper. And we was like, I was like, what? <laughs> and JT was like, well, I know that song. I love that song. I had never heard the song. So I went, and I Googled the song, and I was like, okay. But I didn't understand it. I was like, why you want us to do this, like, old school Feel song and we like new generation. He was like, I'm telling you, that's gonna be the record right there. So we we just did it. Well, that's what I liked about it because we we as a DJ you play the same stuff. Everything sounds the same, same 808s and same whatever. But when you hear something like that, it's like and with with a new style of rapping, or whatever. But mm-hmm. with like that an old sample, it made me want to play the record. So right. is that something you warmed up to? Would you do some more records like that? Yeah. Yeah. I would like once we did the song, we put it together, and that's like. Every time I do a show, that's the song that get the crowd hype. Yeah. And I thought that wasn't gonna be the song, so it's like I let her do another old school remake. I think that's a nice little lane you got there. So where I guess most people heard of you guys was through the In My Feelings record with Drake. Mm-hmm. What's the uh, the first time you ever heard that on the radio or heard that anywhere? What was it like? The first time we heard it was um, when it came out at midnight. We was riding in the car because what had happened was we had Drake's son, like, he reached out to um, P for us to do the song, mm-hmm. but he never, like, said, was it going to make the album or nothing. We just did it, and we sent it back, and he never said nothing about it. So he did come and was like, it's going to be on the album, but we didn't know the name of the song. So <laughs> 12 o'clock, when the album came out, JT was like, I'm going to take A side. I'm like, I'm going to take B side. But I was like, the song got to be something like In My Feelings because the hook was there. It was like, Kiki, mm-hmm. do you love me? Something like that song is like In My Feelings. So I just went to In My Feelings. And when I heard the beat and we heard our, like the breakdown too bad, mm-hmm. we just started screaming, going crazy. We backed it up like a thousand times. We was like, wow. Especially being that it was a single, you know what I mean, with the video. Then the, right. the, the dance went viral. The challenge. Yeah, the dance challenge. And then it was just like to have all that happen all at one time, like, holy shit, it's on the album. Holy shit, it's a single. Damn, there's a dance to it now. You and know and then I mean? it's like, it's the video. Right. I like playing, actually, the City Girls remix of it mm-hmm. in the club because people think that it's like your remix is like the sample that they took from or something like that, that they chopped up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it makes me seem like I know something that other people don't. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank no, you. It's, a, it's, a good, it's a good remix. So I do like that. Um, how, can we play that real quick? Yes, let's go. All right. In my feelings, this is Drizzle Drake right here on Animal Status, Shade 45. Animal Status only on Shade 45. My name is DJ Wonder. Yo, what up? It's DB. And it's your girl, your mind. <laughs> oh, see, you're getting, you're getting it right now, man. You're getting right <laughs> in, the, in the Animal Status vibe. I like it. All right. So you got the video uh, for Twerk right now featuring Cardi B and... Mm-hmm. Who doesn't love watching the video? I mean, like, let's let's be serious, right? Um, it's got it's it got four million views in one day, and now it's over what forty million in 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 just a short amount of time that's been out. I, I'm a guy who likes bloopers and like the behind the scenes stuff like that. Like, I even heard that it took almost two hours to apply the makeup mm-hmm. for you and Cardi with the with the uh, tiger stripes and everything. Did anything funny happen behind the scenes? Like, did somebody get too drunk and fall overboard? Or listen, that video was so crazy because you know, um, twenty girls had got flew in from all over mm-hmm. so it was like they was about to fight and they were it was just like my security had to break up a fight that was going on behind the scenes they were yelling at each other one girl was like you think you run us <laughs> and you don't run shit and i'm like listen we all came to have a good time we all came to have fun what is y'all tripping about right like you're hired to to do a job to be beautiful and just like enjoy a cool video and you're out here like acting Wait, crazy who, who was the casting director that got to pick the 20 girls who was that me 
Oh, okay. Damn, well, wonder. <laughs> I thought that would be a good job. <laughs> yeah. Something I'd like to it do. It was me. I picked the 20 girls. <laughs> okay. but like off of Instagram in, the, in a club, or how do you know these girls? No, because we had did a um, City Girls 25K challenge. Mm-hmm. So you had to like do a video and hashtag the, the um, City Girls 25K. So I just picked the top 20 out of all the videos that I saw. Yeah. And that's how they got picked. Okay, okay, we're going to start an animal status uh, 20K challenge. Anybody wants to DM me or twerk video, I, <laughs> I don't know where I'll be able to send you, but yeah. I just want to see it. Bunch of dudes <laughs> sending you videos. Now, are you, are you close friends with Trina? Yeah. That's uh, Did she influence you growing up? Yeah, she did. You know, growing up, listening to Trina talk her talk, you know, feeling like, I don't know what I was feeling like at that age mm-hmm. to even know what she was talking about. It just made me feel like I was the baddest the girl walking around at that time. So I would say I got influenced by Trina. Now, she tried to do a collab. This is the whole drama that's going on with Love and Hip Hop, her trying to do a collaboration album with, with Trick Daddy. Is that something maybe you would do with her? A, a collab album? I mean, yeah. If it was a possibility. Mm-hmm. You know, of course. It might be nice. Mm-hmm. You got to do it for Miami. Yeah. And then, now, with all your success, you're, you're going to start touring. You're going to be on the New Generation Tour. And we had, uh, it's with Blueface. And who else is on there? Little Baby. Little Baby. Now, do you know either one of those uh, people? Yeah, you know I'm on the same label as Little Baby. Yeah. So, I don't know Blueface. I never um, met him. But I do know Lamarlo. That's another person that's on the tour. And um, I think one more person. Well, but... We- we this talk- is this is my second time going on tour, baby. This will be my second mm-hmm. time, so I'm excited to do it all over again. We talked to Blueface actually, and he said uh, like he had never met you guys either, but he's excited to to work with y'all. Liz, I love his son Tatiana. Tatiana. Yeah. That is my favorite song right now. Every time I hear that song, I'm just like the original or the remix with YG. The original. I don't. I haven't heard the uh, remix with YG. Okay. Yeah. Cause the the remix came after, and then I think Nikki just dropped like a um, her own yeah Barbie, Barbie something Barbiana. Bar- Barbiana. Yeah. Barbiana. That, yeah. There we go. Well, so. I'm sure you'll be hearing plenty of that every single night on tour. But mm. right now, if you pick any song you want to hear, it could be one of your own. It could be any genre. Anybody else's song. What would you want to hear? Um, City Girls featuring Cardi B Twerk. Hey. Oh, I think that's a good one. Here we go. Animal status only on Shade Four Five. Shade Forty Five. It's Animal Status. I'm DJ Wonder. What up? It's DB. It's your girl, your Miami. Hey. Miami. <laughs> I don't know what that was I just did right now. It was like some like weird ad lib, but sound effect. And that's what happens when he gets nervous because he doesn't know <laughs> he doesn't know if you know young ladies are single, if they have a man or anything like that. And that's just the noise he makes to try like a mating call. But <laughs> doesn't seem to be working because we, we heard you we heard you have a special somebody, is that right? That's right. Mm, okay. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it never works, man. All right. My mating call didn't work. But anyway, so how did you and Southside meet? Um, We actually met at the studio in Miami called Circle House. Did he try like to be smooth or was he like he funny? He tried to be goof? smooth. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, was sitting in, I was sitting in the studio and he walked in and was like, hey, I'm Southside. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> Like, like instant it was sparks. just random. Like he just walked in. Like I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga walking in? <laughs> <laughs> like talk about. But I'm looking like he got him all his jewelry. He come in looking all good. And I'm like, so he walked. I'm like, who's that? Mm-hmm. And then my friend was like, you don't know who that is. I'm like, no. Right. And he was like, that's 808. You better Google him. And when I Googled him, I was like, oh, okay, I know who he is. Uh, the drip, the drip guy. Does he ever? Uh, does he ever play you stuff he's working on, and you have to tell him it's whack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he play me stuff all the time. Like mm. I be in the studio with him when he working, so it's like I be behind the scenes a little bit. So and you get to hear the beats before anybody does. Like I be three. picking them up, like I like that yep. one. Yeah, that, first, that first was for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I think yeah. I think this would be good. Like you know, I be right there. Yeah. That's smart. Now, Lil Key came up here and he he told us he's, he's going to do his twenty first birthday in mm-hmm. Miami, and so he offered to bring us out there, which I don't know if it's really going to happen. But if we're down there in Miami, what's the like in one day? What's like two or three places that we we have to go to? In Miami? Like hood or uh, <laughs> bougie? Well, hood for me, and then bougie for this bougie guy. For yeah. Okay, so I tell you to go to the office. She five and Tootsie's. Okay, well I, I, well I know Tootsie's. I don't know about the other two. But what what what, what are the neighborhoods are the first two in? They in like Miami Gardens. Okay, the Gardens. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, now for this guy, he wants the yeah. finer things in life. Tell her King of Diamonds closing, like you know. Yeah, it's closed down. So I tell you to go to Eleven. Okay. Winwood. Mm-hmm. And live. 
Wynwood was cool because I went there uh, about a year ago. Last time I was in Miami, and they have that whole like Art Deco scene going on. Mm-hmm. And so it's 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 a cool little. You got options, you know. What yeah, I mean? it's like different little spots, like little bars, and it's like all type of different music. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and then they got like food trucks and everything. So cool. Yeah, felt like food trucks. Yeah, I like food trucks. <laughs> 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 hey man, it's not gonna work. I know, right? I know. I'm just so stop. Right. Animal status only on Shade Four Five. More with Young Miami. Shade 45, my name is DJ Wonder. What up, it's DB. And it's your girl, Young Miami with the City Girls. Now, so somebody is not familiar with you, they might have seen your your rise in the game as kind of like really quick meteoric success. But mm-hmm. how long have you actually been rapping now? I say a year and a half. That You got to admit, that is kind of crazy for somebody just a year and a half start rapping to be at the level you're at right now. Do you mm-hmm. like look back and like, I can't believe I'm I'm here right now. Yeah, I look back and I listen to some of my music and I'll be like, you know, I'm getting better. I'm at practice every day and it's like I'm growing I'm, and I'm getting better. So, yeah. So, who actually played your music for Drake or did he discover it somehow? Um, when I had met Drake at his album release party, he was telling me that um, one of his friends paid the album for him. They was driving. He was like, they was like, have you ever heard of the City Girls? And he was like, no. And it was like you should listen. And they played the, the album, and he was like, "Listen." He said he loved Miami music, and it just gave him like that train to feel. Okay. So he wanted to see what we was about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you were able to actually talk to him. So he he connected with you, but maybe somebody that's on the rise right now, they might not have any connections. They're trying to just get their foot in the game. What what's a what's one one or two tips that you would tell them to, to get noticed out here? I mean, just keep working hard. Promote yourself. Don't don't let nobody tell you can't do it. Just work hard every day. Continue to get in the music. I mean, continue to get in the studio, make music, and put your music out there and just grind. Just stay focused. Somebody going to notice you. Sounds easy, but. <laughs> no. What, you, you should, you, wouldn't you suggest doing something crazy? Like, what if they want to, um, I don't know, run naked somewhere and take a video over or something? Do you, do you respect people to do those stunts to try to get on? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> there you go, Wonder. I ain't going to knock. Nobody hustle. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But I just say, you know, stay focused. You know, have a lot of music and just grind. Like, do your shows. Even if nobody ain't there, somebody will notice you. Yeah, that sounds like every time I DJ. I pretend like somebody's actually there. <laughs> that sounds so sad. It is pretty sad. But I'm grinding. That's what Young Miami told me to do. Eventually, one day I'll, I'll pop off. It's going to pay off. You think so? Yeah. All right. Believe and you, another another key thing is be yourself. Like mm-hmm. a lot of people try to be something they not or just like you gotta have personality. You gotta have, you gotta be yourself. You gotta be relatable. That's what make people like love you and want to pay attention to you and just listen to what you gotta say. Just right. being yourself. Cause city or they self. Mm-hmm. I could tell. I don't I don't think you're uh, playing up for anybody. But I heard uh, you don't drink any water. Is that true? What I said was, <laughs> if I'm going to drink that, like, if I got a plate of food right now, I'm not going to be like, give me water. I drink water, but it's not like I never try water before. Like, if I go out and I'm drunk the next morning, I'm only drinking water. Like, I need to be mm. hydrated. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I think at, as we come to a close on animal status, I think we need to do a special celebration. We're, We're going to do some shots of water. There we go. Let's go. I want this one. You want? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She gave you the special one, Wonder. So here we go. Right. Fresh well, open. Y'all, y'all try to comfort me. <laughs> As we're, we're a little bit. You know what y'all should have did? What's that? Let me drink the whole bottle. Oh. Yeah, that would. I want it. some too, though. That's not nice. Oh, okay. Well, just give me a little yeah, bit. Just a little sip. All right. Boom. So as we're doing this. Animal status on Shade 45. We're, we're about to get out there of here. Was a, there was a lot of shade. With some water. <laughs> shade 45. You, you get to, uh, as she's drinking, you get to pick one more song that you want to hear before before we bounce, before the, the, the fire goes out over there. DB's about to put it out. Okay. I would love to hear City Girls, I'll Take Your Men. Mm. Period. Mm, perfect. Right, right, right as, as we're drinking the shot. Cheers. Bong. Animal status, Shade 45. Uh, yeah. See ya. That's some good water. Oh boy. <laughs> What's up? It's your girl, Yamaimi, and I'm listening to DJ Wonder. Period.